Hey guys, Beast coming at you from beautiful Central Oregon. The uh, summer is finally here. We've had kind of a rainy start as you've watched my other videos. I'm out here by myself testing a few things on the adventure bus and I wanted to get this review done. Now, this is really more of a first impression. As the title says, the Alpha Mart six person tent. It's kind of a family style car camping tent for sure. The bag itself, I'll throw in a photo here, has wheels on it. So this is not backpacking, this is not what I'm used to doing, but I'm slowly easing these guys in to basically outdoor camping. And so there's a butterfly that just landed on my uh, camera. That's what you get when you film outside. I'm gonna get this set up. It is a very large tent, but it's still doable with one person. Uh, it has some pros and it has some cons. If you're interested in sort of family tent or you need a larger capacity, a lot of my backpacking ultralight tents don't really antiquate well to five person family that I now have. So let's just jump into the review and we'll talk about it. So far, it's, it's very simple, intuitive design. You've got some fiberglass hoops. You've got four of them across the top. You also have some really nice metal poles, and I'll put a close up here. The inside is not, um, you know, cheap expanded cord. It's actually a, like a cable, an aircraft cable that holds the poles together. You've got two long ones in the middle, two short ones on the outside. And uh, what I do is I get them all set up, and I basically, this is not a freestanding tent, so I'll stake out one side, and I'll bring the accordion up, and we'll get it staked out. All right, although I'm not thrilled with the fiberglass poles on the top, they do allow a little bit of flexibility. They come into this standard little elbow. That's gonna connect your metal pole to the fiberglass pole. All right, go around and attach the, the uh, tent body to the poles just on simple little clips. I'll throw in a photo. Um, and that's it. It's super easy, uh, easy even for one person. As long as you get all the hoops sort of set up, you stake one side and you pull the whole thing up like I just demonstrated, and it's easy as. Now, there's a lot of things I really like about this. One, the only thing left to put on is the fly. It's a gorgeous night out tonight, so I'm not gonna put the fly out tonight. Um, I'll throw in a, a quick photo. There are two small fiberglass brow poles that will act as a porch for the far window and the door. This is your sort of main side door entrance on this side. And uh, we'll come in for a closer shot. All right, guys, the uh, side door here, full D-cut door. Uh, does have a uh, basically screened-in section. You can zip that part up. As you can see, all the windows can be covered for privacy or they can be let down, which is really nice for, you know, summer conditions. Uh, if you look about that fabric, the orange fabric down, there is a z zipper guard basically to shed any sort of rain that that fly and that porch doesn't catch. Um, it is a nice design. It does not want to lay down flat. So I would be worried in heavy, you know, torrential downpour, Oregon coast scenario, how much water we would actually get in that zipper. So stay tuned for uh, long-term testing on this guy. I'm 6'4", and I can easily stand up in the center of this. Uh, that's a huge bonus. Now, they say it's a six person. Uh, if you look at their website, they show several different configurations. They show diagrams. They show pictures with only three people in it and ten people in it. It's a little bit confusing. The photo I'm going to show you is a full, uh, I guess it's not a queen. It was a full-size mattress that we had two of our kids sleep on while the other child slept on the floor on a standard sort of backpacking mat. Um, the other reason I really said yes to this tent is I absolutely love the porch. Let's just start at the porch and work our way through the tent. All right, guys, like I said, starting front to back, this is the part I absolutely loved about the tent. Um, huge screened in porch area, nice big tall full length zipper to get into there. You can see the forest floor through there, which means backpacks, dogs, blankets, water bottles, all the things you don't want to bring into the living space. You can keep outside, yet it's still under cover with the fly. It's still in protection. It doesn't feel like somebody can walk by and grab something if you're in a campground scenario. We're generally out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but it's still, we had the dogs in there, and with everything staked down, it was pretty tight at the bottom. And so, put down a couple blankets, I'll put in a few photos. Now, the very first time we set this up, like anybody should, you do it in your front yard, and you camp in your front yard. And that makes sure that everything works. When I'm sent a product from a company and I want to test it, first thing I do is I open it up and I set it up, I use it. I want to make sure that it works before I get halfway out in the middle of the woods. So, the quick setup montage of setting this up with the kids, 
pretty easy to do. Like I said, standard sort of hoop frame design, front to back. Let's walk in through the, uh, the vestibule here, through the screen porch, and go see the living area. All right, now the doors can be held back with small little ties. And if you walk straight in, you're gonna run into this huge D door. Again, nice zippers, haven't had any snag issues. They haven't broken, but we've only had this out about five times. Walk right through there, you're gonna see the nice large living quarters that this provides. Now again, six person is gonna be six backpacking pads sleeping on the ground. Uh, the photos I will insert was of course with our youngest up on a sort of full inflatable, what I consider like a guest house inflatable mattress. It was a full, I don't think it was a queen. So that gives you an idea. You know, you start up in the middle of the night loving each other and by the end of the night one of you is kicked off the bed now the last time we went we took all three kids uh, we had two up on that full mattress and one on a backpacking one and two dogs all inside this so there's plenty of room again here's a look to your left of the main door if you're not going to come through the screen porch area every window does have cover for privacy which i again absolutely love you've got two just small sort of gear storage cell phone sort of sunglass pockets here and then the base here is very much like a tarp material um, the lightweight nylon is great i had one damaged piece on one of the hoops uh, the fiberglass main hoop did snag it that was on the second time putting this up and it has not hindered anything of this tent since the last time we've been using it. So I'm not too worried about that. That does maybe really speak to the longevity of this tent. Again, this is an initial impression, but so far, I actually really like it. Uh, we've only had minor sprinkles. We've not been able to subject this to a full sort of torrential downpour. That'll probably happen in a long-term test. The floors, as you can see, there's also a pencil from one of the kids drawing in here. Um, one of the reasons I'm not going to spend $1,000 on, you know, a family t camping tent is because generally we're going to be out in decent weather and you're going to have things like dogs. You're going to have kid pencils from drawing in here. Um, it does have sort of a slight bathtub floor design. So the floor does come up a couple inches from the ground, which again translates to a little bit more waterproof if you've got extra soggy ground water. Um, that you're putting this tent into my only main concern would be probably putting on a larger tarp over the vestibule if you're getting a lot of rain uh, simply to come through these zippers and of course as i showed you before the sort of little drip shield that's on that zipper that does not want to lay down all right now the main stakes that they send with this are actually very nice stakes uh, they are a sort of plastic material i was really worried about them now out here in central oregon when i'm into the trees it's very soft and duffy i'll put in a quick shot here of pounding this into very firm rocks out in eastern oregon and i honestly had no issues with this i brought back um, some separate stakes that I thought I was going to have to use and I'll put in a quick shot just their standard sort of big metal ones and I honestly did not have to use those these plastic stakes did hold up adequately all right guys there's a couple small little features which are quite nice obviously the little welcome mat on the main door over here for changing shoes socks that sort of thing before you enter in your living space any of you guys that have family tents that run generators uh, there's an access plug for that Never tried that, not sure why you need a generator, but anyway, if you need a plug-in in your large tent, there you go. There's an access panel, you don't have to run it through the door. All right, guys, she's all wrapped up. As you can tell, there's double grab handles on each side, and you can see the little wheels sticking out, a lot like uh, carry-on luggage out of the corner there, sitting on a pretty good-sized stump. She's definitely not a small, lightweight backpacking tent, but if you're trying to put six people or a large family in comfortably, so far she's working great. Uh, the wheels are nice. You can see right there on the logo it says it's 32 pounds, just shy of that. And uh, obviously if you throw in a few extra stakes to guide it out during heavy winds or anything, I would probably bring an extra tarp. I am a bit concerned about heavy downpour with the way that fly is configured with that zipper down there. But other than that, it's a pretty cool tent. All right, guys, well, that concludes the uh, review of the Alpha Mart six-person tent with the beautiful screened-in vestibule. I do think that's one of the highlight of the features. Um, again, I'll come back with a sort of long-term test if this is something that you're interested in. Leave me a comment down below. I will let you know Alpha Mart did send this to me for the review. But this is also the first family tent. All my stuff comes from hardcore backpacking and ultralight adventures. So I don't have much to compare this to. I really like this tent. I am worried about longevity with it, 
but uh, I'll put down a price and a link below. You guys tell me what you used in the past, if it's something that you would buy. I want to hear from you guys. This is Wandering Bee signing off from beautiful Central Oregon. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.